Alright, hey guys, so, um, today I'm going to be making a video on how I care, organize, and breed my leopard geckos. Um, just for some tips out there, if anyone needs some help with any of that, like breeding or anything. So, um, first I'll go off with organizing. Um, when you have a collection that probably exceeds five geckos, you're going to want to, um, have a nice organizing system. Um, and I'm at 13, um, so I have breeding colonies, and then I also have individuals, um, and it's easier if you're like a young kid and you just have a few geckos, you know, you name them all, you know, they're all permanent pets of yours, um, but you, when you have this many, um, you'll start send, um, selling them, and you're not really gonna name them or you'll get attached. So, I don't really name any of my geckos, I have like five named, but those were my first few, um, so I'll just show you how I organize them now. Um, I'll start off with the little tub. Each gecko has um, their gender, which um, if anyone doesn't know, uh, a 1.0 is a male and 0.1 is a female. And say you have multiple females in a cage, you'll go 0.2 and then the morph. And then say you have a breeding colony of the male and two females, 1.2 and whatever the morph is. So here we have a female high yellow. And then each of my geckos have an or ID number um, based on their uh, based on their morph. So H Y is high yellow. O three the third one that I have. Um, there's H Y one. Um, there's Raptor O one. And then also I have the last weight recorded, which was on three sixteen. So that was about ten days ago. I gotta reweigh them all. Um, but she was a uh, forty seven point eight. And then I have eggs. I write eggs as they're female. And then I write down how many they've had this season. And she's had four duds. So that's what I write D. And then if they're fertile, give them an example. Right here. You'll put two lines. Um, so yeah. And um, then you do the same for the males. Except you put 1.0 and you don't put eggs. Uh, these are my bigger tubs. Um, and then my breeding tubs, like my breeding colonies. Actually, I only have one right now. Um, I am going to be making a chocolate shrimp or albino breeding colony and a high yellow breeding colony once I get a male for each more. But I have a super hypo male with a super hypo female in here. So here, let me bring this out into the light a little bit better. So see, 1.1 super hypo male and a female super hypo. Uh, the male's last weight and the female's last weight. And this was after she laid eggs. Post lay, that's why I wrote that. And then their ID numbers, the male and female, super hypo one, super hypo two. And the eggs, the females, or just the eggs, the um, colony's given me this season, that's two. So yeah. Um, so that's how I organize them. And then, I guess I'll go caring for them. Um, how I set up my little, like, six quart tubs. Here, I'll take this one out. Um, so, basically, I keep them on paper towel, and the whole time, I'll usually moisten it when um, I clean the cage, and then, um, whenever they're shedding, I'll moisten it. Um, and then they have to hide, I actually have to clean this one, it's got poo on it. Uh, it's just a little, uh, paper bowl that I cut a hole into, really cheap, it's like five dollars for, f like, forty or fifty, and then that'll last me a while. And then the gecko? Here's the raptor female. I don't know, I'll do an update on her. She's looking really good. Waiting to breed her. Not big enough yet though. Um and then they have their water and then their food which has calcium. And then I'll put superworms in it. Um I'm actually gonna be transferring over to mealworms. Um just I couldn't um when I went to my local reptile store, they didn't have any um mealworms in bulk. Um so I got like 250 super worms. They actually didn't have any male worms at all. Um, they were out. But yeah, so I got super worms for them. And that's why I'm using right now. I'm almost out, so I'm going to be ordering a big shipment of meal worms online. And I'll make a video on that when I get that. So that's how I set up a little baby. This These tubs are for individual males, individual females, or um, geckos that I'm trying to fatten up, or hatchlings. And then here, here, that's actually, I'll go over that, that's the breeding colony. Um, 
Um, what tub should I go over? I'll go over this one. This is a nice one. This female is actually breeding um, in one of the tubs over there. I'll actually be getting to that next. But here, this is how I set up my bigger tubs. Uh, they have the same setup, basically, the paper towel hide. Usually I'll give them a uh, noose or a paper towel roll just for extra hiding. And then they have their food and water. Um, so yeah, that's really all I set it up. Um, and then when a female is either uh, ready to lay eggs or she was just put in with a male and is probably going to lay eggs within the next month, um, I'll give them a lay box. This is just for a gravid female. So, here's one. She was actually bred yesterday. Saw some action. Uh, she's a high yellow. She was bred to a hypo. Um, then we have the egg line box, which has moss in it. Moist and moss. I think that's probably wet, yeah. Probably wet in that a little bit more. And water, food, and their hide. There she is. She's looking good. And then when I do breed them, it'll say bred to whatever the gecko was, their ID number, and then when it was that they were uh, put together and bred. And then the last tub is my breeding colonies. And these ones, since they'll have multiple geckos, they'll get a much larger hide box, a big medium sized reptile basic size, a bigger egg laying box with the moss, and a female right there. So these are my soup. And then they'll get um, a bigger food dish and a bigger water dish. And they'll get paper towel. Um, I'll show you these two guys. My super hypo breeding colony. Male. Really nice. And the female, she actually laid. Let's see, she laid Thursday, I think. I'll actually get to the eggs in a minute. <coughs> Kind of spaz out, but it's fine. And um, this whole rack is to do with heat cable. Um, just a view of it. So it just goes along right there. And then the tub will slide over that. Um, and then another way I breed them is like um, if I have a male in an individual tub, um, if they're not the same morph, I won't have a full breeding colony. I'll just stick. There's the male. He's the hypo. I'll just stick a female in with him, and there she is. <clears throat> She's a uh, tangerine jungle albino head for raptor, um, trying to get some hypogene into this project, um, so that's why they're breeding. Um, no specific morph, just to get a little hypogene in there. So yeah, that's that. So that's basically how I um, breed, care, and uh, organize my geckos. And um, lastly, I guess I'll show how I organize and care for the eggs. So, actually, I don't know if I, you guys have seen this. This is a uh, new little rack I built. It's for ball pythons and maybe larger Kenyan sambos. Um, that's going to be for baby Kenyans and stuff, and baby balls. And then I'm going to have, like, a male and female ball python, and then they're going to breed and stuff. Um, but here's my incubator. It's a hovabator. Um, really nice. It's got a pillowcase on it just to keep it a little bit warm because my room gets cold at night. Um, so, there we go. Uh, these eggs were laid on the 24th, which, yeah, that was, that was Thursday, um, so they're there. So, how I, uh, yeah, I'll take these out, actually. So how I take care of them is I have to organize them. I have a little post-it note. It has the pairing, the super high lows, and then when it was laid, which was the 24th. Um, and then how I care for them, I'm not going to open it because it's actually 85 degrees in there. Going for males or females, a um, little bit warmer for males. Um, I have vermiculite here. Yeah, actually, vermiculite on the bottom. Um, and then there's moss around it to keep the moisture in. And um, there's two, there's like a few little holes of, that I use with tacks to get a little air in there. Um, 
Yeah, those are the two eggs. They look really good. So, hope to get some babies out of those. And, um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Out.